Hey guys, it's me, Super Kitty, the owner of this channel, obviously. And today I will be showing you guys how I take care of my seven animals and just some of the daily root clean blah, 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 routines and like the cleanings I do for the certain animals, like the ones here in the cage, all that, the things I use, how I keep them entertained, all that other Jimmy Jazz. Hi, BB. BB, say hi. It's my bestest friend, isn't he? Yes, he is. BB was my very, very, very first kitty. And he is my bestest friend. He's almost about, I think, eight or nine now. You're going to be an old man. You are, but you're so handsome. You like wine. You just get better with age, don't you? But yeah, he is my best friend. He likes to follow me around outside. He's, he's a good kitty. He waits for me when I get home. This, this is the best cat. So, of course, you guys have seen these two before. The white one is Maya, and the, uh, and the black and white one, more black and white one, is Yoda. And as you can see, BB is already coming out to see me. Hello, handsome. Are you girls ready to go outside? Huh? Now, this is something I don't recommend for many people to do. Wait. Wait. Wait, my. Wait. Wait. You see, my garage door is open. Don't mind, we're doing renovations on the house. Wait. Wait. Now, most of the time, you don't want to have your husky running free. That is not something that most people would do because they will run off at any given moment. But... I've trained my babies enough to where they're, they're, they pretty much see me as alpha and they just stick around and they listen pretty well. So if you do work with your husky a lot, it is possible. Though I wouldn't recommend taking them to places that they are not familiar with and then letting them off of a leash. That is not a good idea. What are you doing, baby girl? Yes, that's my lady. Those are my ladies. Oh my, uh. oh my, 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 my. Yoda, you need to go potty? Go potty, yo. Go potty. Go potty. You just want the lovings, don't you? See, there she is over there. My good girls, good girls. Oh, you want your tummy rubbed? What? You want that tummy rubbed? Oh, what a big old baby. What a big old baby. Look at her leg going. It's so big. Such a big ass baby. Oh, I love you, yo. <laughs> ah. And here comes Maya. She's so old. My old sick lady, huh? Oh, what a good girl. You're so good. You're so good. Alrighty. Yeah. Yoda likes to sunbathe. Maya's not that big into being outside. Are you, Maya? Yes, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, come on. Time to go inside. I know, we're coming. Inside, Yoda. Yeah, we got to redo our garage. It freezes in the winter. Last winter, it froze and it overflowed with water. It was just a bad time, wasn't it? You guys didn't care, though. Yeah, you didn't. Every time they're really good girls and they listen, they get positive reinforcements. Come here, y'all. Come here. Come all the way over here. No, you get over here. Yoda, come here. <coughs> Sit. There's yours. And there's yours. With my son, Alucard. Say hi, honey. <laughs> so he's going to help me clean out the rat cage. He loves the rats. You like the rats? <laughs> so we're going to, he's going to help me help clean out these rat, the rat's cage. 
They have corn bedding in there right now because I was using it as a substitute until I could find aspen and I did and I'm really excited because normally I use um, a type of like granule litter that has like lavender and stuff in it but it costs so much for so little bit of litter so I switched over to aspen as a cheap alternative and I'm really excited about how this is going to be in my rat's cage since it's so much for so little money. All right. Rats. This one is Tallulah. Say hi, Tallulah. She is my most interactive rat. Um, let's see. The one that's sleeping on top, that's Iggy. She's my most shy rat. And the one who's just now coming out, that is Buckwheat. And she's my second most interactive rat. She's the only one that really likes to be pet. Tallulah likes to just explore. And Iggy just is like, forget you guys. Just think I'm cute from afar. She doesn't really like to socialize or anything like that. She's just a really skitterish girl. Hi, babies. You see, they love me. Hi, honeys. Let's get you girls out. So I'm going to be putting them in this. This is my little tiny um, holder that I put my rats in. When I go, sometimes I put them in my son's room so that they can run around and they have a nice little safe space to run around. They can't escape in there or get underneath my toilet. And, um... Yeah, they really like it in there. It's a nice little space, and I can and I can put um, a water bottle on there and some food in there if I have to keep them in there for a minute. And I just think this is just a really good way to take the rats to the vet, anything like that. So if anyone ever needs to know how to transport your rats, I would get a hamster holder or um, home, and it's really good for rats. All the rats have been captured and put in. I just started first with Iggy since she was the most tired and she's the hardest to catch. And then I went with Tallulah since she's really, really cooperative and she lets me pick her up. And the same thing for Buckwheat. They both generally are okay with being picked up. The only one who's skittish is Iggy. She's been taking a few months to get used to um, the people in the house. But, you know, we all have our own personalities and the way we interact. She's okay with people. He's giving them kisses. He loves them. But um, they, you know, all rats need their own time to adjust. And she's doing really good. She no longer does her testing bites. She just likes to smell you now. So we're making progress. All right, I know it's really, really, really loud in here right now because of the water. But I, my bath part doesn't work in my tub because there's a lot of stuff in here that's super old, you guys, that has to be changed out. And we have to change this piece out on the bath. So I let my water get relatively hot because I like to try to sanitize my rat stuff. But at the same time, it's going to get hot, Alucard. Um, at the same time, I like them to still have some scent on their stuff. It kind of keeps them from marking so much. Get your hand out of it. It's going to get hot. And... Um, it just, it just really helps with sanitizing, but keeping their scent on. So, yeah, it's pretty gross in here. I'm going to start by taking out their food. I'll dump the food out. This is going to have to get thrown into the washer. I like my rats to have a nice smelling bud. It makes them extremely happy. So, taking out all this nasty stuff. This all is going to get washed. I think my most nastiest rat, I would think, is Iggy. Because all my other ones are normally pretty well potty trained. But they don't like to go potty with it looking so poopy down there. So, uh, ooh, And let's get all the little toys out. They have lots of toys. They have chewed escape routes in this. I originally cut a hole in that, and ever since then, they've just been adding new holes. I'm about to make them a new one. Let me see. Get this out. And most of the stuff fits right through the hole. I tried to make this as convenient as possible. Now, no rat pee on me. It's fine. It's fine. So there is a lot of these. You can see that I have rigged my rat's home 
These are just because when I first got them, the rats were so small that they could climb through. So I added some um, kind of like chicken mesh, but not really, um, so that they couldn't get out. But they're not babies anymore, so I don't think that's a problem. I probably need to wash this too. So I usually wash this and this only if it looks dirty. I don't really like to wash them all the time because sometimes they're not that bad. So I'm going to hurry up and get those out and then we'll get all this stuff taken care of. I've taken it all apart and I put this outside and blasted it with the hose just to clean off all the little remnants of poop and all that. Because sometimes they get stuck on there. So, now that's clean. Look at my good girls. They're so good. Just sunbathing and whatnot. Except for mine, because she don't like the, she don't like the sun, do ya? You don't like that sun. Say it's not nice for Malamutes. We get hot. We get to be so hot. We like the shade in the winter, huh? Yo, oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. You coming? Good girl. Let's go inside. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Come on, yeah. There's all the ickiness. I know my floor looks disgusting. I have to pick up all this rat litter. It's going to look so nice. And then I have all this in here. And this is just Dawn in here. Just clean this out. And I know my tub looks gross. It gets nasty. It's a, it's a jacuzzi tub. So it literally like pulls the nasty off of you. And I just used it yesterday. So yes. All this is getting cleaned. And they'll be so happy. And I found out they've been chewing through my cage. I'm like, ugh. Gotta fix that. So, I ended up having to use a glue gun and putting pieces of wood at certain spots because I just found out my rats are escaping! Oh no! So now everything's nice and clean. They got all their toys in there except for the ones that are still drying. There's... Let me move the water. Move the water. And... They have Aspen now. Yay! Their home looks so much more comfy with the Aspen. <laughs> and now it's time to put the rats back in their home. Back in the home. Yup. And I went and got them a surprise. Excuse me. Ooh. <sighs> Look what I got. Oh, leave them alone. Oh, leave them alone. Let go. Oh, yeah, it's a good girl. Let the go. They're gonna go play with their toy. Play that to toy. Move your paw, paw. Thank you. Don't stick your hands in there. Don't stick your hands in there. They're I looking see. so cute. They, uh. Yeah. See them? They're running around. They said, oh, our house is so clean. Thank you. Thank you. Look at them. Happy rats. Happy rats. Yes. Do you want to tell everybody to have a nice day, huh? You want to say have a nice day, everybody? Um, Maya, Maya, say have a nice day. Have a nice day, huh? She's not very vocal right now. She's not very vocal, huh? You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? You don't want a treat? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at her little tail going. This is my baby girl. Yeah. She says, don't rub on her. You're rubbing my head. That's a good Yoda. Good girls. Hey, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video of me doing my care for my animals. You're gonna
dump your chips everywhere. And I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys my seventh animal, Mary Jane. She's always out and about and kind of crazy. That's why her name's Mary Jane. So, um, I'll probably just get like a video of her later. She's so pretty and she has like a little bunny face. She's just so cute. Um, I might be able to post like a picture at the end so you guys can at least see what she looks like. She's really cute. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day and if you like the video, please like and subscribe and follow. Hit the notifications. Um, I'll be doing more videos about my pets and their little unique personalities, especially the rats because people don't know it, but rats do have very unique personalities and different traits. They're their own little peoples, you know? So, have a great day, you guys. See you on the next one.